What's going on guys, it's Cats here and today I'm going to be starting a new F1 2017 career mode and I'm telling you this one will be finished, I promise you. Nothing with just four videos of it being uploaded or anything, no, I'm doing the full season and if I have the time, I'm going to be doing season 2 as well. So here we are, we're number 21. We're Danish and we're called Sir Cat because, yeah, why not? So, uh, let's get right into it. We're gonna be racing for Williams Racing and our teammate is gonna be Felipe Massa. So, let's get started. By on such short notice, I just needed to cover a couple of quick things with you before you go. Firstly, as requested, I have a copy of your contract. It's a rolling deal, however, the team reserves right of termination if you fail to meet performance standards. You're a second driver for now, but it's work hard, hit your targets, and have me able to sweeten the deal. I'm also looking to get you into some invitational events throughout the season. The experience and exposure from these could be great for your image. Some nice historic cars. Now then, go get ready for your next session. And good luck. So there we go. That was um, Emma Jenkins, our um, assistant, who spoke to us about our contract and gave us our contract and stuff. So uh, this season is going to work like. I'm only going to show you qualifying and the race, no practice, so just like last year, but uh, yeah, now Chris would like to have a word with us. time data from the factory now than ever before and it all comes from here so i have to spend more time checking over the reports and less time hunting you down in the hospitality suite to that end we sorry just a sec yeah chris is this important i'm in the middle of something That makes no sense. Have Sarah reset the simulation again. Okay. Sorry, I heard it. As I was saying, we've set up a desk here in the front here. You can get onto the network from your laptop, so make sure to check the R&D screen regularly. And let us know how you want to use the data we collected over the weekend and the practice report. Also, bear in mind that the Sometimes tests fail, like you've seen just now. And when that happens, we have to divert additional resources. Say la vie, I'm afraid. Okay, so now we're gonna hopefully get a bonus of, yep, 2,520 R&D points. So let's just get right in to um, upgrading the car. Uh, the recommended upgrade is a front wing downforce um, and we're gonna buy that and then we're also gonna get some engine power because uh, the Williams car isn't the fastest on the grid you can see it's the fifth best car so uh, yeah let's get to um, qualifying oh yeah uh, first we have got an arrival and I'm telling you it's Felipe Massa because it's always your teammate who's the first one so let's take a listen to, or no, let's take a look at our t uh, team expectations for qualifying. It's 
qualifying P9 and beating Felipe Massa. So now, let's get into qualifying. Alright, so here we are. Um, this qualifying starts off pretty badly, and then nothing really happens throughout the whole lap. So here we drop quite a lot in the first couple corners, but then we kind of gain positions again, and it's kind of like that the whole session throughout. So when we get here to the finish line, we kind of mess up on the last corner, and it is a P13. They wanted us to qualify P9 and we get 13, so... Yeah, they told me that it was a bit disappointing, but that's just how it is. Our teammate Felipe Massa qualified P8 with a 1 minute and 26.5, and ours was a 1 minute 27.1. So, yeah, the other team's expectations of me kind of dropped there, and our own team's expectations as well. But um, let's see what they want us to do in the race. P11 and beating Felipe Massa, of course, and being P9 in the uh, Drivers' Championship. So let's hope that we can do that. And uh, let's get on with the race. So, here we go, the lights are counting up. It's five red lights, and it's lights out and away we go. We go immediately over to the right. Roman Groshan is pushing a bit on, and back there, kind of dive bomb up, go along side with the color signs, kind of get pushed out onto the grass and I don't I didn't want to lose control of the car so I stayed on there for a bit before I had full control. Well, let's see we couldn't really make it past Fernando Alonso but we uh, do get up into P11 overtaking Carlos Sainz. Uh, we couldn't just get past Alonso but that's how that was. Let's see if we can go past uh, Fernando Alonso. We, you know, we want to get into P9 at least, maybe even better, but as we see here, I've switched it up into Rich, and we're going straight past the McLaren. It's so slow on the straights, so slow, and I think I hit him. Yeah, I, I hit him, and there are yellow flags. I made him crash. You can see up in the cor left corner, there are still 10, no, uh, 20 drivers left, so he didn't crash completely. You can see on the minimap he's standing still, but I think he's starting to move. But uh, let's see, um, can we get past Kvyat? No. We kinda... Oh yeah, maybe we do... Yes, we just squeeze around the outside. And um, then nothing really happened throughout the last of the race. I don't think so. Um, let's just jump straight into lap 5 out of 5. The very last lap. We see here Daniel Kvyat is pushing a bit on um, uh, from behind and suddenly he just dive bombs right up the inside and hits us on the wheel. Luckily no damage is, uh, is made and we get him back in the penultimate corner and in the last corner here we go smoothly through and that is officially race over. P9 in our first race two points, not bad. The Williams cars did really not perform well in uh, the real life 2017 um, season, but you know, that's just how it was. See, Sebastian Vettel won the race, and uh, looks like Bottas and Hamilton became second and third. What order they're in, I don't really know. Uh, look, first happen is very glad to be P7. Ah. Oh yeah, Hamilton was P2 and Valtteri Bottas was P3. So we see the Ferrari team celebrating and Vettel lifting the trophy. And here, the champagne over on Bottas and then onto the cameraman. They always do that. It, it's weird. <laughs> but
but uh, yeah, getting a picture taken here, and let's see. Okay, we moved up four spots. Let's see here. We are P5 in the constructors, which is the team championship. Oh, we got driver for today. Um, one of the uh, commentators just said that I did a fantastic job, so oh, yeah, we did a fantastic job. So um, that's just perfect. But uh, let's move on from the race. I think somebody would like to talk to us. Yeah, we're doing quite bad in the rivalry, but uh, the reputation level rised with a few teams here, especially Haas. So I think uh, this guy here would like to have a talk with me. I'd really rather be down there racing them myself, to be honest. I'm actually quite handy behind the wheel, but uh, the downforce, those lateral Gs, you know, the old neck can't really handle it. So I need a pro. That's where you come in. We run in a bunch of events throughout the year. Time trials, races, all sorts. And I have it on good authority that you have the ability and temperament to do well in it business look good and most importantly bring the cars back in one piece <laughs> so consider this a formal invitation I'll see you at the track now I just like to step into my office make sure your contact is okay. so uh, yeah he invited us to an invitational event and we're gonna take the uh, overtake challenge but we're not gonna be doing it in this episode we're going to be doing it at the start of the next episode so um yeah that was it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next episode goodbye